Bye guys. Well, we'll see you at the second time. Is a charm here. Uh, people smiling at my little dog. It is a gloomy Monday morning. Sun trying to come out here on Monday morning, March 29th, 2021. So, for the second time today, I am going to try to bring you my Chronicle of the Collapse. I'm talking about this new documentary on Netflix called Sea Spiracy. It's either Sea Spiracy or Seas Piracy. Your choice. So, um, I, uh, I was just getting ready to congratulate the YouTube bots for, you know, finally doing something right where you might have noticed last week if you're a creator that they have this thing before they will let you publish a video that they will check your your content for copyright infringements and if you have a copyright you won't ever even get to publish your video so there's no chance of you getting a copyright strike so to test them out I did a test version of this video I made like a two minute short version of doing this and what I did was as the background for my audio I was running just the video with no audio from this documentary advertising and recommending this documentary that went through fine uh, there was no problem with that test video so I made the video I put it out there it went through the YouTube bot check they told me no copyright issues were found they published the video they gave it the YouTube bot seal of approval, published the video, and five minutes later, Netflix yanked it down, even though there was no audio. So instead of getting to watch the audio, the video of uh, as a backdrop, we're just going to look at this beautiful freshwater river, and we're just going to run the the uh, audio of today's rant over again. Let's see if Netflix wants to give me a copyright violation on my own audio. Take it away. Collapse Chronicles. Let's try this again. It is a dark and gloomy Monday morning here in the collapse of global industrial civilization here on this gloomy Monday morning, March 29th, 2021. So, uh, <clears throat> for today's Chronicle of the Collapse, I want to send out some kudos to Netflix for kudos, not kudos. bringing us one of certainly the best Doomer porn video of 2021 so far. And that is this new documentary. I assume it's pronounced Sea Spiracy, or maybe it's Seas Piracy, uh, about the this expose on the seafood industry, the global fishing industry, or the overfishing industry, as the case may be. We're looking at. Uh, some footage from the sustainable fishing of these whales in the Farallones. Is that how you pronounce those islands anyway? Uh, not sure why the uh, why it keeps doing this blinking. But anyway, I have mentioned many times that I do not eat seafood. And I stopped eating seafood probably when was it eight or nine years ago after watching the documentary end of the line which should also be required viewing for any clueless moron still eating seafood uh, but i have been backsliding <clears throat> since i found this chinese buffet here i have been a backslider uh, in my consumer and lifestyle choices and I have started eating seafood again so uh, 
I've been telling myself I need to re-watch End of the Line, but Netflix has come to the rescue. I'm sorry I can't remember this young documentary documentarian's name, Ari somebody. This was some 22-year-old who set out to learn more about the global fishing industry and uh, came up with this excellent, excellent documentary which you can find on Netflix. Um, it's kind of like, I guess, the companion video to Planet of the Humans. Uh, Planet of the Humans, yes, this is these are the humans and their sustainable fishing there. This is right, you know, in Scotland. Uh, this is not the cove over in Japan. This is not some third world country. This is Scotland. Uh, what goes on every year in Scotland. And this is sustainable, as he points out. This is the tech the technically correct definition of sustainable as is that uh, dolphin hunt over there in Japan. It does meet the technical definition of sustainable so if, uh, if you do still eat seafood I strongly recommend this video and I really uh, like several aspects of it, kind of like what uh, Planet of the Humans did for uh, renewable energy, particularly biofuels. Sea uh, spiracy does for this whole lefty, greeny little notion of these uh, sustainable fishing practices, this absolute unadulterated horse pucky about this dolphin free uh, tuna and, and all of this crap, this turtle safe shrimping, this dolphin, uh, dolphin free tuna, whatever, just exposing the absolute greenwashing, bright red, blood-soaked lie. There is no such a thing. Uh, the, these labels, these BS labels, uh, trying to convince these little uh, clueless uh, little lefties that they can go right on about, uh, you know, stuffing their clueless faces with whatever they want to because uh, some lying sack of shit has, has stuck some little sustainability label. Who is it? The Earth Island Institute and these others uh, that are under the umbrella. It, it is the biggest pack of blood red lies. There is no such thing. And then I wish they had spent more time on the uh, the whole issue of aquaculture uh, saving uh, the planet and allowing clueless morons to keep right on about stuffing their fat, clueless faces with seafood. Uh, it is, uh, of course, uh, you know, you will not find anywhere in this 90 minute documentary, you will not find the word overpopulation. Uh, you know, he keeps talking about all of these sacred cows uh, that we need to slaughter. Uh, and expose uh, this this mess, uh, and never mentioning uh, overpopulation as the that there are too many humans. Um, there are too many humans eating too many fish is the reason that there will be more fish, uh, more plastic than fish in the oceans, um, you know, by 20, by 2050. Uh, I wish he had spent more time interviewing Paul Watson. Uh, 
did not spend as nearly as much time with Sea Shepherd's founder Paul Watson as he could have. Um, but these are these are small. <coughs> these, these are very small uh, criticisms of this. Uh, how you could talk about the unsustainable. This is, of course, the proud new father, Paul Watson, who. Uh, you know, had his first child at age 64. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, but I won't get off on an overpopulation rant uh, or a consumer and lifestyle uh, choice rant. And I, I'm not pretending for one minute, guys, that, you know, a few doomers uh, out there refusing to eat seafood is going to do a single thing to protect the oceans. This this consumer and lifestyle choice is purely uh, it, it, the consumer and lifestyle choice that I have made to uh, to stop eating seafood it, it, it is purely. Uh, you know, just recognizing the difference between right and wrong. They're talking about fishing subsidies here, about how all of these governments all over the world are giving billions and billions of dollars to uh, these giant industrial uh, fishing uh, Outfits mostly, I won't say mostly from China, but a, a whole lot of this coming from China. Uh, and you know, at the end of this thing about this whale slaughter, and uh, you know, going on, they actually interview one of these guys. Uh, Probably I don't know why it keeps doing this uh, clicking back and forth. You, you know he's he's getting ready to interview in here uh, one of the, one of these people who uh, actually you know kills these whales uh, over there in Scotland, and you know this guy sitting there smugly drinking his cup of coffee, claiming that there is no difference between the uh, the life of one of these whales and the life of a chicken and that anybody who eats chicken has lost all right to uh, call this out and you know when, when I hear this argument that this absolutely clueless moron uh, argument people acting like there, there is no difference between a goddamn chicken and, and a whale uh, it, it, I, I just really I, I really do want to just get out there and sterilize every human being on the planet uh, there you go there is no difference between that and a chicken. So uh, I suggest uh, all of you seafood eaters get out there and enjoy your uh, and get out there and enjoy your whale meat in Scotland or wherever uh, while you still can. And uh, if if anybody can can watch Sea Spiracy. And then I would, you know, also watch End of the Line. Watch Sea Spiracy and End of the Line. And if you, after watching these two documentaries, uh, and find out what's your consumer and lifestyle choice, uh, this is the, this is that clueless moron. See, this is what he stabs those whales with. There is the face of a clueless moron claiming uh, that he is saving the lives of chickens by killing whales. Uh, I, I, I want to reach through and, and strangle that clueless fat blankety blank. I need to remember what channel I'm on here uh, before I 
run away with myself. I, I would absolutely love to see a harpoon ram through that fat, clueless moron's neck. I, I would love to see that. Uh, I would love to see blood just spurting out of his aorta and staining that couch. And anyway, as I say, uh, I think I'd better wrap this up now. You can watch Sea Spiracy in the end of the line yourself and, uh, and decide whether you want to keep eating, uh, keep eating seafood or not. Uh, it is your consumer and lifestyle choice. This is that George Monbiot guy, and I have a mixed feeling about this guy. Uh, George Monbiot or Monbiot, you know, talking about all of this, and then uh, with a straight face claiming that overpopulation has nothing to do with uh, what's going on on this planet. But that is another rant for another day. I'm going to wrap this up right here. That is the inside of a whale's stomach that uh, got strangled, that got killed by eating fishing line. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, there you go. Three cheers for Netflix for having the cojones to go up against the global fishing industry. With that, I've got to wrap up today's Chronicle of the Collapse and uh, go fry up some tilapia. Bye, guys. Oh, well. <clears throat> Three cheers for Netflix for having the balls to go up against the fishing industry. Then when anybody uh, goes on their YouTube channel and tries to recommend their video they get yanked down for you know the old no good deed goes unpunished but anyway despite their little copyright claim I still recommend it and did this guy just get a fish on the end of his line alright I gotta take the little dog on a walk Bye, guys.